Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco. It's been a little while, I must admit. But we are back, we are kicking, we are going to today try and build up this beautiful road network and actually put some buildings around it. So that's the plan for today's episode. As you'll see on the screen now, this is what we worked on in the previous episode. We have got down a huge amount of the network roads now um, and things are starting to take shape. You can almost kind of imagine what it's going to look like with all the other buildings down now that the network is uh, you know, pretty much down. So that's going to be interesting to see how things develop. And it's also going to help us in terms of actually building up certain areas because we can now pinpoint which bits we work on next which does help greatly for me personally. Now I need to really decide what and where I'm going to build a bit more in advance I guess from what I have been doing but for today's episode there's two main areas I want to start building up and the first one here is this bottom left hand corner. We're going to build up this section here and that little corner there goes up quite a lot in terms of terrain so we're going to have a bit of fun working on that area. And also here, this little spaghetti sort of junction-y area, we're going to work on that as well today. So they're the two main cores of today's episode. So let's get straight into it and let's get building. But before we start talking about what's on screen, I just want to sort of catch everyone up on the situation with the channel. As I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, there is a new series starting. Uh, you'll see in the top corner of your screen now. We've started a new project. It's uh, based on the Isle of Wight. Um, and it's uh, a UK build which is obviously very different to this particular build because obviously Monaco takes a lot of time and planning um, and research in fact to really nail down um, the realism that I'm trying to achieve here um, and the same kind of with the new series I'm basing it upon an island um, but it's not going to be you know exactly like for like such as what I'm trying to do in Monaco um, so I need to decide which way we work this out on the channel um, whether it's going to be a video one week for um, white and the next week for monaco the issue i have with that i'd love to be able to do that but committing to doing a monaco episode sometimes takes up to two weeks um, in terms of the time and what's possible for me to do so so i'm gonna have to think of a way around this and what the best way is it might just be that monaco happens when it happens and i put a bit more effort into the uh, new series to sort of push that along a little bit as well but let me know in your comment section below guys let me know what your thoughts are what do you would like to see do you want to see more monaco do you want to see more of the isle of white series um be interesting to hear your thoughts and also going back to the monaco series there's going to be a lot of time where we need to do a lot of filling in um of building in areas nothing that's too exciting in terms of you know there's no landmarks or anything like that my question to you is do we just do an episode for those or should i do that off camera and sort of give you an overview in this episode today you're going to see me do something like that and i'll be interested to hear your thoughts on whether you think that's a, a better way around it because like I say, there could be a lot of episodes that do seem to be repeating themselves. So I want to really show off the uh, unique and the interesting areas of Monaco. Obviously, there's a lot of areas that are quite similar. Um, so be interesting to hear your thoughts on that. You'll see that a bit later on when we work on the um, second part of today's episode. But as you can see on screen here, we're building this little section here. And this is actually a little market square that we're working on here. Um, the terrain is proving a little bit difficult at times you can see here the the way of doing it does get a bit painful at times um, there's always ways around it and that's what I do love I do love the challenge about this game um, but sometimes things do not happen how you want them to do and especially doing something like Monaco with the bizarre steep hills and crazy terrain it does become a bit of an issue at times I'm really liking the colours we're getting now on these roofs as well. There's a really good combination on the workshop available for different types of orangey browny roofs. So 
the combination at the moment are working really nicely i'm really enjoying that um, especially from the bird's eye view if you compare that um, versus a, a google image the contrast we're getting and the sort of unique different patterns really are working well so i'm really happy with that it's uh, certainly taken effect quite nicely and as you can see on camera now one issue that i have had um, which is more down to the mechanics of the game um, is a lot of the cliff faces had more of a sort of vertical drop in terms of the uh, the actual cliff itself and it was almost like i'm not sure if it is or it has been done but it's like the the cliff has been sort of knocked to that sort of shape um, which means that when i'm trying to build things on this particular area here it's quite difficult to to get that look so in the end i use some of these uh these keys just to sort of map out and make a more of a flush line across it um, and then try to brighten things up here with a bit of grass and a bit of foliage just to make things look a bit more appealing because there are some areas that are quite bland um, which look fine in real life you know it's uh, a natural thing to see but when you're building in game you want to add a bit of creativity in there as well so i wanted to try and add a few little little perks of my own now this whole next section kind of feels a bit like a jigsaw puzzle and what I mean by that is we've got a certain number of buildings that suit this area um, and I'm having to try and combine them well enough so one they look realistic and two they fit the sort of theme layout of these areas. Um, each grid if we call it a grid that I'm working on I am trying to make it as similar as I can to what you would see in real life Monaco but it's not really possible for everything and um, these situations are slowing down the project and my sort of build time by spending a lot of time researching so I kind of I'm kind of swaying a little bit away from that further forward in the sense of I'm just going to try and create the areas and make them look as realistic as possible but trying to get the exact shame, shape building um, placed in the right areas and this and that. It's becoming a lot more difficult to do um, without sort of pestering people to make custom assets, which I don't want to do because the project itself has already had well over sort of 60 assets created for this, which is absolutely astonishing. Um, so we've got enough to play with. It's just a case of getting it all down. As you can see here, we're sort of combining certain areas um, and certain buildings together to try and create some unique looks um, adding some different height buildings sometimes they're two tier sometimes they're three and just trying to play around with it like I say it's just like a big jigsaw puzzle um, and it's really it is actually really fun to do and we've also used a bit of procedure objects to shape some of the buildings um, which is again another fun thing to do now there's been a lot of requests um, previously in regards to where we're building next and I think we're going to move over to the, uh, the Monaco Football Stadium next. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking for that area to be built up and it kind of works quite nicely with our progression in the build. Uh, moving over to that side allows us to then move over some, to some other areas very close by which I'm really excited to start building. Um, we've got the, the Monaco helipad, which is really exciting, really looking forward to sort of building something on that degree. Um, there's also this little circus area as well, which um, is going to be interesting to work on. Um, I did get an asset built, so we created for that, so we'll see how that all works out. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're going to head next, guys. Let me know your thoughts on that. Where else would you like to see being built very shortly? Um, I know a lot of you have been asking for a lot of different areas um, and you know there's still some very exciting areas that we have to build so I'm really am looking forward to progressing that it's just some of these areas here are a bit mundane and I I fear that maybe it's not gonna be as interesting to watch so that's my my worry at the moment I'd rather be you know if this isn't isn't if this isn't as exciting for you to guys to enjoy and watch um, unless you're still enjoying the commentary about talking about the project itself, you know, if that's an aspect you enjoy, that's um, it's fine to carry on doing these. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. But back into the time lapse, you'll see here, despite us building quite a lot in terms of the actual development of buildings, we've got a bit of time here, we've got a bit of detailing to do. So some of the areas 
can allow a little bit of detail to be put in. A lot of it is purely just buildings and road and pathways, which isn't as exciting to work on. But there are little segments in between buildings and on top of roofs that we can still do some detailing on. So nonetheless, we can still detail, not quite to the degree of what we have done previously, which is why this episode may be a little bit more different and more vanilla maybe um, compared to what we have been working on. Um, but yeah, we've got to do it all. We've got to do it in the best way possible. And if, that's, if, if this is the way that we have to do certain aspects, we will do so in that manner. You may remember me earlier talking about the difficulty with some of the actual terrain we have here. Well, this is an example of it. Um, here there's actually two tiers of buildings, but the way the, uh, the buildings work and the terrain carries over on itself means it was a little bit more difficult to do so. So I kind of had to really be creative and try and create something out of nothing um, to create another level I guess in between the housing and the uh, the buildings and that's what we've done here and it's very simple we use the uh, Monaco walls by Los Gecko uh, put down some of the plobble asphalt raised it up put a decal on top to make it a bit more you know rough and ready <laughs> so to speak and uh, you can just make things and get things looking a bit more realistic um, and you'll see here the building itself we had to raise up so much that the actual base um, textures shine through which they look lovely I must say but in this particular area it made sense to put some of these shops in the middle which also will generate more people turning up to the actual main area and that's one thing you may notice as well. We've got a lot more people coming around in the area. There's a lot of cars fluxing in. You'll see that on the cinematics a bit later on. Um, but Monaco is slowly coming to life. And I think the more we do with these sort of episodes, the sort of development ones, we're going to have a lot more of a busy look to Monaco, which is going to make it look more reali realistic in general. And yeah, we're going to try and get the population as similar as we can do to what it is in, in real life Monaco. Now, as I um, announced at the start of the video, I did do the second part of this in a very different sort of way. Two reasons. One, because the footage I recorded actually got corrupt um, and I wasn't able to show the actual building of that. Um, so what I actually did is um, I was lucky enough to still have all the save games working. So I've kind of done a now and after on the whole area. Um, now it's not as exciting to watch because this area actually was quite an enjoyable one to build. Um, but I've done that and that will be coming up um, in, a, in, a, in a minute's time or so. Um, and it's a way that I may look to do some of the building up areas of the map. Um, so as you can see coming up now on the camera you'll see this is the area we worked on. And this was probably a good sort of four hours of work just doing this one sort of area. Um, like to know your thoughts on it. Um, I mean, maybe not so much for this. This probably would have been better as a time lapse video, but it gives you an idea on what we created and how much further we have come in this episode. But on that note, guys, I'm going to say goodbye now. Enjoy the cinematics, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and all the best. <laughs>